Boxing of EX05. Military style headset for PC, Mac, Xbox 360, and PS3 by Geotech. And I hope I'm saying that right. If we can see this, if it'll load. Come on, focus, focus, focus. Ah, whatever. Anyways, uh, powered by USD, HD, uh, noise isolating microphone, instinctive and accessible controls, super lightweight handband, signature Geotech design, flexible headphone arm, or microphone arm, breathable microfiber, fiber, F I B R E, ear cups. Let's see what it says. Uh, it's different languages, military headset, high definition stereo headphones, gibberish, 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 all this crap. Um, so let's see what's in the box. If we can get it open. Ah. Play me away, maestro. Oh, look at that. Isn't that pretty? I care. And you just smash everything in there. So let's look at this. Oh, man, look at that. Nice, meaty cups. Like you remember from the old PC days, working in the computer lab of your school, where none of the teachers knew what computers were, but somehow you did. That looks nice. Let's get a look at that microphone. Oh, so it's like a, it's like a flexible, it's like a flexible rubber. That's what she said. <laughs> yeah. Let's see what's else in the box. We got a bunch of these things, cables and such, and the manual. How much was that? Twenty bucks. I got up twenty. It was originally forty. So we'll see what's up with these cords. Okay, so it looks like it comes with a seemingly unwieldy bowl of spaghetti. This is a universal headset, so um, I guess that's good. It's got enough connections to go around. Uh, it's got this nice flat cable for the thing, which I always like to see flat cables. Either flat cables or braided cables. It's better than anything else. But the flat cable leads to this box right here, which will allow you to change the uh, game volume and the voice along with Xbox 360 to PC, Is this your PS3, like that, look. And then it's got this thing, which I'm guessing is the exit con connector for the uh, either the Xbox, whatever I think, which is a cable around here, which is this right here, which it comes with. So instead of using the uh, USB, which uh, the PS3 and the PC would use, it uses this uh, 2.5 jack uh, for the Xbox controller. And we have several, I think, in the back of the box at five meters with a spaghetti, which connects to uh, these, which is your pass-through connection. So what you would do is you would plug this into your TV and then that into here. And what it will do, will feed off that connection and uh, go to your headset over here. So you got that. And then on this side, you would have your USB. And now what I don't like is there's no way to detach it. What I really would like to see is some way to detach it. You know, that way you can... If you're if you're using a PC and you don't want to have these nasty little things right here, you could do that. But since it's got to be universal and it's all got to be wired and it's got to be made relatively cheaply, um, they sell you a pile of spaghetti basically. The cups feel fairly soft. I mean, they don't feel like that they would they would hurt after a while, and that thing doesn't have much tension on it. So we well, we will just have to see. We'll just have to try this one out and see how it does. Um, but for now, I mean, I've got pretty good high hopes. This thing doesn't retain much of a shape. I mean, you go and you bend it like that, and it kind of stays. But, I mean, it's not as rigid as, like, the Turtle Beach ones, which are metal, considering this is just some uh, some kind of, like, rubbery, bendable toy type thing. Maybe, maybe like, rubber with, like, a metal wire going through it to kind of help it retain its shape and its mic quality. I, I have no idea. We'll have to test that out. Uh, and we'll be right back to see that in a second. Hey guys, so they feel pretty decent. Um, the cups kind of glom onto your ears, which I'm not really used to. And, uh, because I'm used to the kind of headphones that just kind of sit. These things kind of like, they kind of right onto your head. Um, and the mic's a surprisingly good distance away. I mean, I, I, I don't, I don't 
think there'd be much pop in it. You know, that. I don't think there there would be much, but this mesh thing right here, it's kind of nice. What I don't like is that these little wires, these little wires right here connecting, and I could definitely see maybe with some new those popping out, but that's that's yet to be seen. Um, As far as build quality, it, it feels okay in operation. It feels cheap to the touch, just because of how light and stuff it is. Um... But other than that, we'll just have to see when we get to the audio tests. But as far as wearability, I mean, it's fine right now. I can see definitely with – the ear cups feel soft, but they don't feel breathable. So I could definitely see after playing this – with this for a few hours, it getting, you know, rather hot. So this is a mic test for the Geotech EX05. Um, you'll notice that the mic has really good quality. I'm recording this on PC, and the quality differs on PlayStation 3 and Xbox 360. This mic is perfect for recording Let's Plays or streaming to Twitch, uh, considering you can hear quite well. So it's good in that aspect. Now, I've been using this for about a week now, and it seems like a really good headset. Uh, it's sturdy. It works great on the PC. You simply flip the switch over and plug it in, and it works. It just works, and that's the best part uh, about any piece of consumer electronics is when you can just buy it and plug it in, and it works, uh, which is perfect. Another great part of this is the universal aspect of it. You aren't just buying a PC headset or a 360 headset or a PS3 headset. You're kind of getting both. Uh, beyond that, as far as the current gen systems, as in the PS4 and the Xbox One, it's not that compatible with them. This headset relies on those red and white analog jacks to get its audio, which you don't find on the PS4 or the Xbox One. The PS4 and the Xbox One specifically use HDMI to carry their audio signals, so the headset has nothing to feed off of. Uh, on top of that, I tried using the stereo adapter for the Xbox One controller, and while I was able to get it working over the mic in port on the headset, for some reason, even with the amplifier plugged into the Xbox One, it didn't put out sound that was really loud. I don't know if that's because of a limiter on the mic jack, so that your you know in-game audio from your up from the other players uh, isn't as loud as the game audio. So even if you max it, it's not both at 100 percent. I wasn't able to test this on a PS4 because I do not have access to a PS4, although I assume that the results would be just about the same. Uh, so right now, this isn't really a future-proof headset. If you're going to use it on the PC, it'll work perfectly. If you're going to use it on the 360, it'll work perfectly. If you're going to use it on the PS3, it'll work perfectly. But as far as the Xbox One and the PS4 are concerned, not that great as far as future-proofing and backwards compatibility. Uh, some of the other cons I had, uh, besides the cord and just the absolute amount of spaghetti coming off from this thing, um, was the headphone sound. And the headphone sound is kind of on the tinny side. Uh, if you're like me and you like some oomph and some bass to your headphones, uh, this isn't going to pack the punch you're looking for. Um, it's really worth it when you consider the price. And, you know, as always, you get what you pay for. But as far as these things go, uh, it's going to be on the tinny side. It sounds a little bit more treble than bass. Now, I'm sure you can play, play around with equalizers and other settings in your computer and get it sounding better. Uh, but as far as, you know, the sounds coming out of the TV, uh, it, it sounds about the same. And uh, I tried playing some games with, you know, in-game audio and, you know, music going along. And while that added some, you know, dynamic range to the overall sound, it is a bit flat. Uh, another problem I have, mainly with the way the cords are set up, is that there isn't any kind of detachable thing. There's nothing I can use on here to detach it from the amplifier and use it, say, on my phone or on a tablet or anything that has one of those nice uh, 3.5 millimeter jacks. And on top of that, no three pole 3.5 millimeter jacks, which you can commonly find on Apple earbuds and pretty much any other device that has uh, a mic as well as the sound in the same cable. Uh, they're fairly common and I don't know why that wasn't put in here considering it's a, a universal headset. Uh, it just seems like a big oversight and definitely something they should put in the next model. However, there are some cool features from the amplifier having a mic in. I found that I was able to use a, uh, a an adapter to go to the 2.5 millimeter jack that goes into the mic in. And I was able to listen to music and podcasts off of an MP3 player over my headset. And of course, because of it going in through the mic in, you can adjust that. 
So if you don't want to go into your game settings and change that, you can do it within the thing. And because it's going through the mic, uh, you can also answer calls that way, which works uh, pretty decently if you have a phone attached. So overall, my opinion of this headset is it's pretty dang good. For the money it costs to, you know, get it in your hands, for the quality that it is, for the, you know, overall comfort, the ease of use, the ability to, you know, set it up and get it working on your PS3 or Xbox 360, I think it's a really good buy. And I think if you find uh, a pair of these for around, you know, $20, $25, you're really getting a steal as far as headsets are concerned, especially wired headsets. Sets. Thanks guys so much for watching this video. You're all awesome. If you really liked it, leave a comment, like it, subscribe, do whatever you can. I really appreciate all this and thank you so much for watching the video.